moving to the next points we can discuss we can then move forward so anything else to discuss for many of you please sneha you have sent a message uh, if you could able to just please post here in the chatting that link we can just discuss see and we'll move forward Oh, yes, yes, we wait. Good morning. Yeah, good, very good morning. Good morning. Mm. Tell me, please. Oh, oh sorry. Mm. Can I present my screen just as a small? Uh, ah, one second, one second. Let me stop. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Okay, did I stop? Okay. Not yet. Yeah. Yes, we wait. Uh, okay, so can you able to see my screen once you see my screen? Just let me Ha, able to see your screen. Okay, thanks. Uh, so actually, I have uh, I've done this uh, to do list application. Okay, so okay. I, I just want to show you. And okay, I have a couple of uh, <laughs> thoughts are there, so that is the name. I see that's a, maybe a silly question, sir. Some don't think it's a silly question or something else. A great question, every question is important. Knowing something and answer is really giving clear idea, and you will be moving forward successfully right now. Uh, yes, so I created some uh, uh, some header I given okay, and I given text okay. add add button, and mm -hmm. here if I add uh, yeah. yeah yes okay see see see. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one thing why I'm getting I got it. Why? Because here I uh, I want to ask you doubt, so that is the reason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now uh see sir, I have I've created this one checkbox and uh, date I have entered it. There is, I can able to enter the data. I can delete it. Uh -huh. Okay, so I have done in my local. Okay. Right, right. Here, while doing it, I have uh, there are a couple of things. Uh, so if yeah, here I want to give the checkbox option. Okay, here when I enter it, if I here I want to give a checkbox option. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I can give manually checkbox. Okay, like how in the sense in the in this loop in the to do list loop, here I can directly like like input uh, is equal to type. Oh, sorry, uh, input type is equal to checkbox, hmm. and uh, and it will rotate it. Okay, and it, it will rotate, but. Uh, One second, yeah. Okay. Check box, box, B-O-K, you have written, B-O-X. Oh, sorry, yeah. 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 Now, I can able to add it and I can do it, sir, OK? Uh, OK. Mm, but here, uh, I want to do it in some other different way. See, if I keep the span, okay. So see, uh, here I given one condition. So okay? this dot props dot to do list data dot checkbox. Okay. So uh -huh. if it is a true, I want to print as a checkbox. If it is false, I don't want to keep it. Okay. So if I if I execute, I mean if I uh, enable this comment and I try to do it, okay, it is it is not working. It is throwing an error. Okay. So you want to say if that particular list item is having completed status as a true, then you want to show a checkbox or else you want to skip that checkbox. You want to say is it right? Um no, so I just repeat it. See here yeah. in, the, in the simple component, here given checkbox as a Boolean value. Uh, 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 initially, I given as a false. 
right okay so i my condition is if it is true okay uh. i want to make this checkbox to be appear okay uh. if it is false i don't want to appear anything either it can be null or or, or I that, uh, that that's what even i am saying that when the checkbox is having a value true checkbox uh. not having a value true completed okay see um how can you decide checkbox is it true or false ah yes i have in the after clicking this button okay uh -huh. uh, here uh, add button after i click there here there is an uh, uh method is there on click add button data okay okay so in this on click add button data in this set state i made checkbox as a true okay so what i'm saying is whenever you click on that button make the checkbox as an true and input data as an empty okay so okay. when i try to use this property in this uh, component uh -huh. okay? uh, like see i'm using the formula this dot props dot uh -huh. to list okay why i used to do list is uh, here i given as a source I mean, to do list data uh, the same thing i mean i tried okay same data i tried it i mean to do list data see here dot checkbox mm. but it is not uh, coming uh, right where i'm doing go to the go to that state concept state concept mm. where you have declared that initially see if you observe clearly <clears throat> to do list is separate property checkbox okay. is separate property okay. but you are planning based on your statement that you are saying that checkbox is a property inside the to do list how and that is what how see okay here line number 10 11 12 three separate properties which are under the state okay okay three separate properties right now Mm, yes yes okay then you are saying okay come down to the uh, add button which you have written oh sorry yeah yes uh, see here set state to do list new to do list okay input data empty okay checkbox true okay you are updating separately that's also okay but when accessing this data in the condition go to the condition please okay condition here yeah mm. here the condition line number 26 huh? yes uh, here the condition see within the same file first point in the above you have state in that state one of the property is checkbox then how can you say this dot props dot to do list dot checkbox here the statement is saying that checkbox is a one of the property okay. under the to do list sorry yes okay understood understood understood, understood. that is uh, it is also wrong only because see this is not a property this is a state coming from the state object data separately getting my point uh -huh. okay 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 so, okay here what how i understood is so since i want this data uh, i mean this uh to do list data so i given like this dot props dot mm. so what i understood is let me tell you whether it is correct or not please let me know if that checkbox see you could not say checkbox true or not if that if that uh completed step if the particular to do concept is completed then you want to show checkbox or else you don't want to show checkbox that is a condition you have tried and display or not but you are planning your statement is your condition is also applicable to the checkbox you are even implementing to the checkbox output also hmm. see let to, no, normally let me tell you what is the concept of to do concept to do concept means today at 10 o'clock i have one work whether i have done or not yes or no that will be true or false whether it's 11 o'clock whether i have done or not yes or no that is true or false if i complete it then you should say yes as it is completed and no point of checkbox display right okay. means 
so here i need to give a statement to the property or a property which is called completed status if that completed status of a particular list item is true then you have to write a condition as completed status is true skip this checkbox mm -hmm. if it is not completed show this checkbox that is the condition you have to write oh okay. general general logic if you come out of this coding mm -hmm. generally if you think to do is, what is the concept to do i have a number of things to do today at 11 o'clock 12 o'clock 1 pm 3 pm 5 pm 6 pm i have multiple list of items which i have to do whereas i do or not that's once the time completes crossed i will set that status whether i have done or not if it is not done say status as false if it is done say status as true right now that is general concept okay. right yeah. according to that you are saying that if that already completed you don't want to show the checkbox right yeah. now yes. then then if it is status of that particular list item is completed you are writing the condition while looping then you are skipping that checkbox you have to just simply code that's okay. it okay. Okay. so both but in your code you are saying that the question or the condition the status everything is applicable to only directly one point which is checkbox okay so this statement what i written is what it is telling so can you just explain me i mean uh... this statement is actually saying that you are planning to display the checkbox if it is true or else if it is not false sorry if it is false don't display that is a statement saying that oh, okay yeah yes sir but this is not printing that is that is not printing that is what printing means it is this is not a property right now see you have written a statement 26th line this dot props dot to do's list do you say to do's list is coming from another component to in this place yes okay um first point second point in this to do's list do you have a property of checkbox or as how uh it uh, i mean yeah in the to-do list uh we have an uh state in that state we're having a checkbox property uh state is different check property is different right now. for example that's what i am asking go to the top go to the top okay not here state uh here state. In, in, in the main component state. Uh, okay just go to the top here mm. see, yeah, where is the see you are saying that in the to do's list you have a property checkbox but where is that in the ah. to do's list it is separate right now oh mm, both are separate but mm -hmm. in the to do's list you okay. don't have a checkbox property okay okay here only to do list unmitted. okay okay understood understood mm -hmm. uh, yes sir, i am sorry I ah, got no. uh, thing is see the oh, you, you are writing code but a small messing up here is you have planned very simple logic if that particular list is completed if that particular to-do list is completed status then you don't want to show that is the general question you are asking you have mm -hmm. planned right now very simple logic for that so first yeah. print of all the to-do list whereas if you have clicked the checkbox that is completed once it is completed immediately skip that one but here okay that is one point that is your logic but actually in general it won't be accepting in that manner because see for example okay completed or not completed only yes or no that is okay but if there is initial state pending state progress state or updated state or the completed state like this multiple states for example let me say we have planned to do some action today and first state is initialization state come don't think this is the concept of life cycle hoops i'm not talking about life cycle hoops i'm just talking a general discussion only okay initial state that is as soon as that user opens a page is part we can say initialization the values with the default values maybe default values or empty values that's a little point then we are giving an option to the user 
take making a drop down for example make convert for uh, convert this program or this to do list it started its process that is process started state from that you are doing the process and you completed it is pushed for reviewing purpose that is the review state okay. from, re from review state to the final checkpoint it's come successfully completed it so in that case you have multiple scenarios okay. initial starting processing processing and reviewing and ending complete yeah so this is actually in general in real time applications we say sprint 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 a concept it's a point of how the developers are interacting when any company is a when a project is given to that company and group of developers are discussing all the members will not be working on a particular concept i will be working on a particular one concept you will be having one particular concept whereas there are developers there are testers and there are architects and different different categories so first analysis department second is analysis to developers they will be receiving some inputs to the developers the developers write the code and pass to the testers testers will chase uh, will check it out whether that in all the aspects whether the program is working or not properly if everything is working they will just say yes okay status that is completed if something else went wrong if they will revert back to that developers code there is something issues go and check that is the status is review the review status is pending like this okay. so this is actually we can say a to do if each and every concept in our real time applications yes sir, yes, sir. yes sir now uh, i got the exact thing what i had done my mistake mm. uh, so one more thing uh, in this list no i mean in the in this component uh, this is the last note okay so here uh, on click uh, 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 we used okay so here in the on click here we written an arrow function okay right but, yeah so in general we, i mean when i refer this uh, like in the last previous class also we have we, we have written like bind concept right right right, right. uh dot drops that okay so if right. i use this one i mean uh, it is not working okay why i mean it, any uh, why we used only this arrow function to make it uh, the simplest part is bind is something a borrowing method which which needs to work with an object whereas yes. here it, you are working with a simple property and second thing bind is something a built-in method it is something where you are passing to the current running object with a group of parameters but whereas a arrow function is just a javascript function which executes much faster in a simplicity manner that's why we choose arrow functions uh, so in general can i make it like if if we are having a single property we can use arrow function if we are having any objects and all we can use this one so yeah. that way i can remember that is also you can do it but actually see arrow functions even work in both places both places oh okay even it works with a single property or sorry single parameter passing even a number of parameters passing okay 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 Okay. We have seen in the event handlers with the user or something. Yeah, it's yes, exactly. There only we used to bind the property. Bind and this also we have used multiple properties. Uh, if I will show you once we complete this one. Yeah, yeah, understood, sir. No, no. Two ways that we have discussed. Oh. Yes, yes, two ways. Yeah, in, in one of the cases we used this one as well as the uh, this uh, bind and arrow. arrow. In both in both cases we have passed multiple parameters. Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir, I got it. I think I'm fine. Right. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, right. Huh. Any others, please? Questions? Let's. So let, let me share my screen. No, I think someone has a doubt. I think they have. Ah, there's a link. Sneha given a link. We are just opening that link.
Okay, very nice. <laughs> very nice design. So only the design, sir. Oh do, ah, don't that's why I'm astonishing. When I click in the button, it's not taking any away. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, but design is very nice. I thought that you have done the functionality also, as well as you given the React calculator. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Right, right. Design is okay, but no functionality. <laughs> right. Make sure to complete the functionality also, okay? Okay. Yes. It's taking that even alphabets also. Of course, this is conditions. Okay, only numbers it should check, right now. That is that's right the program. And when I click on this clear, okay. Of course, you know calculate how it works. Try yeah. to implement that functionality. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. right. Then then let's close. Okay. So in the previous session we have discussed especially with the concept of class-based or class components lifecycle hooks with one of the example with the to-do component sorry to-do example at the same time even without any without any uh, lifecycle hooks we even implemented to-do concept today to get a clarity the differentiation comparing to class components and uh, functional components in practically first let's get a clear idea okay then So, in one of our discussions at employee, especially um, uh, here, we have given on click, and when user clicks on it in event handlers. When you just scroll down in arrow, let me write here. Ah, here we have group of properties, parameters, arrow functions. Okay, this is one we can do it. That is simplest way. Whereas the another one which is given with the bind here. Okay. So both ways it works. Okay. Then now let's start discussion related to the functional. Let me just move. Functional life cycle hooks the theory the description the differences the distinct the distinction sorry the distinct uh, features everything 100 percentage will be given in the uh, documentation format in the blog or as of course i will be even providing a documentation also but for timing especially given preference to the practical oriented of course we will discuss Theory. I don't say we are not at all going to discuss theory concepts. We are, but in elaboration to get more remembering the points, the differences in points wise, table or formats, whatever it is, we'll provide in the documentation. So, okay, here, okay, let's write. See, first point, we already discussed the concept of life cycle hooks already. What is the concept and what is its usage and how it is going to be used in React application? The importance of lifecycle hooks in React.js application, of course, not only in React.js, it even works with an Angular also. But as we are working with the React.js, so we can just say React.js concept. Lifecycle, as soon as your application starts, instead of giving a, uh, what you can say, user-defined functions, 
and waiting for a call, you have some built-in methods that will automatically take forward your application without any delay. That is better way right now. In as you're preparing or creating a larger or complexity application, you are expected your application should run faster. And in that case, you will be expecting if there is something solution for me automatically should take forward as soon as when user opens my application, then the solution is life cycle hooks is a point of initialization, updation and destroying. We can say mounting and uh, updation and unmounting in terminal device, whereas those that this particular concept is categorized into two ways. What are those two ways? Class lifecycle hooks concept and, and at the same time functional lifecycle hooks concept. Already we have discussed class and today now we are giving to understand what is that functional lifecycle hooks, how to implement. Okay, with the same concept of to do a simple example. Okay, so let me write here functional life cycle hooks then right the concept is itself related to the function so it's a functional component and when you are working with a functional component of course it's even not required and you can just write here function space functional life cycle hooks method and when you are working with a functional life cycle hooks you can just directly make it a return statement and no point of render statement and at the same time here write export default functional life cycle hooks concept so okay if you are just writing a simple functionality okay you no need to even write import react concept <laughs> sorry okay. if you are writing simple functionality simple uh, a simple code here itself you no need to specify especially the concept of uh, import react like this but when you are planning to use the concept additional advanced level, that is a life cycle hooks, a method or a hook, then you need to specify, especially for that purpose, like as how you have written import react comma opening closing curly braces inside that component in terms of class components. Right now, the same way here, we have to write import react opening closing curly braces and the very simple point and easy way to remember it uh, it is related to functional component or functional life cycle is every functional life cycle method or else every functional life cycle hook will be starts with use use callback use context use 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 use, use. among these and the default and first that we will be using a commonly used use state from same react so then inside this now the first point that you have to write 
use state use state is a one of the method which helps you to initialize the values to the state variables don't say here properties or object as you are working with the concept of functions no point of property no point of object when you go with the concept of class then only you have to say the concept of class and sorry object and property and state okay so here use state is one of the depend uh, module of course which is a method which is having its feature or simply we can say it is used to set a default value to the state variable okay what is that default value what how to set that value a default value to the state variable let's enter into the function function space that name what we have given above the return statement right here const const or let but mostly we go with the const and make a square bracket whereas to do is a state variable comma set to do is a method and that equals to with the use state this is a syntax use state is a method inside this you can write a space or a boolean or as even a group of items of an array or as even an object literal anything that you can just whatever you have written that will be assigned to the state variable it can be anything as of now the concept is to do so we are discussing to do okay then now inside this we are planning to create a group of items group array of objects in the use state square bracket opening closing curly braces the property here p e and its value whereas id or text whatever it is i am just writing here write a blog post is completed question mark of course defaultly say false it's your wish then like this you are just maintaining group of records so let me write here id 2 id 3 and let's write here let's have a meet match twelve o'clock. Let's let's make it something. Two and I even want to add here. Did you? received something money and i'm just saying false so if you observe here these are the three records which are given inside the square bracket of course we can say array of objects and all these records that are assigning to the clues with the use state it's clear up to this point. Initializing a state variable using use 
paint. Okay. Then, now what is our next point? Let's make it a concept of displaying. Then later we can do some additional points. That's later point. So, I'm just writing here a view write a class name row class name c will hyphen 12 and inside this let's give it Compo. Let's write a component rules where it can have a property rules are all the records that are connected to at line number six, which is same name, of course, a value simply write rules. Okay. So from the main functionality, you have some sample records and you are trying to access those records in the component. Then now, so you can write a new component here. What component to do component? Then let's create to do dot js. and import react from react here bounced the name of that component and having group of properties of course for timing only one okay then write its definition in arrow methodology then return return inside this view the class name mm, okay row inside this from the group of items right now and extracting one by one item and even with an index that you can write inside this you have planned to extract one by one item with a to do so what you have planned same whatever we have discussed the previous the same thing that you are doing here then make it export default to do then now either you can write a separate code for a simple concept of this or else you can also even write in this functionality itself it's your wish but for timing i'm writing here you can also just copy this code and even make it a separate file also okay i'm just writing here so write a const to do line number for the line number eight and here we have write one property inside this View. Okay, let's display here. To, to do is an object that is 
to do is having three properties. You just observe here, ID text is completed. Among these, for timing, we are just Xing text. That's it. As it's a part of simple code, I even don't want to make it separate file, so I just given here. Now, overall, we have individual to do concept of displaying, which is given in the loop, and this is even connected with the main, which is functional lifecycle hooks. As of now, the logic, the uh, uh, what you can say, the senior, no, not senior, the um, flow is clear right now, connecting from the group of items and entering into the to do's. And here, extracting while extracting one by one, we are extracting each and every item. Okay, so let's do one thing. Let's add this first and run the program and see, and we'll move even additional points. So let me go with the now bar. Functional life cycle books. Right functional life cycle. Oops. Then in index dot js file. H. Then we will call to let's check it out first. A basic thing what we have planned. Mm, let's try. So npm space start right yeah sir so before it starts now sir can you go to the to do uh don't change hmm. yeah sir here i understood like we have taken the to do's uh dot map and here again, why we give this uh, component to do uh, this? this uh, uh, see, you can see, uh, you this is a box related to something like I say, UL. Okay, in the UL, LI, each LI, you are extracting LI, Correct. you are writing the definition of that LI, what you have planned here. Yeah, then at the time we can try to make it take only the function comma to do only, correct? Why we written like to do, I mean, component and to do is equal to. Uh, uh, no, no, okay. You are saying that, see, what you said is correct only. But here, if you are just planning to display only one value, yes, you can just display simply return statement and display to do dot text here itself. Yeah. But if you want to make it an enhancement of actions, like even adding, ad editing, or deleting, mm -hmm. you instead of writing that messing up the total code here itself, it's better to segregate the total code separately with another name. 
by segregating a small small pieces of code from the main a large code each code having its own responsibility if there is any problem we can directly come to that point and we can just debug and close it okay. the main the usage or the importance of segregating a major code this is actually a major code what have planned right mm -hmm. and yes. by segregating that major code into small small segments or components is a point of giving a simplest or simplicity way of debugging and even for doing some manipulations of a particular concept okay okay it as of now we are discussing a simple programming you can say we can write everything in one program yes okay but if you plan for example any applications because uh real i mean not only real time applications any applications like you can say shopping cart applications or you can say uh, uh dashboards creations applications hundreds of functionalities that you have to write each functionality will be having again their own subset of functionalities in that case you can't write hundreds of lines at one place it will be messed up so to segregate the complexity to uh, to overcome that kind of complexity it's better to habituate from the beginning onwards making a code into small small pieces where it can easily able to access or debug or modify if i don't want for example to do concept maybe employees to do concept or hospital i mean okay doctor to do concept is different right now if your application is giving multiple concepts of to do's then if i am the employee person for example i will be choosing employee button whereas doctor to do's will be doctor separate so but you have planned in a main box two different categories and two different sectors but if you don't make it such kind of thing it will mess up the code even the application also will be uh, ambiguous ambiguous means com confusion concept yes sir okay. I love right Let's speak. Okay, there is an error. What is an error? Todos is not defined. Todos, okay, we might not give an input. Yeah. Import. Todos. Okay, so this is one. The items are not displaying so somewhere is a problem let's do one thing first let me just right click on click on inspect element let's choose console so
spell is lower case function. Is it a problem with related to the inverted class name? Class name, you mean we have the, the class name property within the where, where, where class name correct only? Mm, maybe okay, let us check it out now. Class. This is, we have just copied and pasted, and whereas here, of course, it's a route, path, and element function. Did we add this one functional as it was? Oh, okay, we have added it. So let's come to this. Okay, there is a there might be a pro. Okay, let me just check it out here. So we have three records and here we have a component to do the property with the to do right it is a state variable that is which is given here then and then we are exporting okay export default then just enter into the to do's here const to do's and the property to do's written statement so a group of items from this we're extracting mm, that's the reason this one it's a point of display but you have given us a logic or code format you have to specify with a opening closing parenthesis that's it okay okay let's move in right and okay let me do one thing. let me just record once so saying that from the group of items okay first let me read opening closing curly braces from the group of items with a map built-in method inside this extracting one by one item and of course even with an index then inside this opening closing parenthesis giving a call to the individual component individual list item concept with a to do with the to do and that we just given here below here also that needs to be given as just a point of displaying so that needs to be let's do it right on Then inside this, we have a property, and then opening closing parenthesis, just write a view inside this, just extract to do dot txt. Let's check it out now. Right, okay. Problem is the point of actually it's a displaying point. This you are giving an output that needs to be set in the opening closing parenthesis. Even we have discussed this point in the very beginning. 
the difference between opening closing curly braces and opening closing parentheses and you are extracting the code and just displaying a simple no point of here what do you say functionality right now so only thing now you are able to see the group of records what we have given here okay the first what we have done is achieved then additionally to this so we will be adding the concept or functionality let's just move uh let's close this one now but even this one the index also then inside this i even wants to add some additional functionality so far we got a clarity of just uh, uh, displaying the data then i want to add another property mark complete and saying that mark complete like i said completed equals checkbox sorry checkbox equals completed okay whereas edit title edit title apart with this even i want to add a concept of adding a new item also for that i even can also write to do form or whatever you want and i can just write add to do and that equals to add to do here we have additionally two properties for that to do and what is our concept here we have to write mark complete functionality and edit title and additionally even add to do okay but that is related to the to do form that's later point we will discuss so what i will do now let's write the functionality for mark complete write a const mark complete a particular record which is referring with its index and we are entering into this a first point that you are planning const new to do equals to people dot referring the group of items of to do from the group of items to which item that needs to be marked as a something so new sorry new to do of a selected item which is an index you are giving a property is completed is equivalent to the opposite so how new to do of index is completed once it is done now see what is our concept if it is not selected like as check box if it is not marked you are selecting mark that is done or is not done that is you are doing for it in every time this is just an property value is updated but how that you can update into the state variable like as how we have done in the class components in the same way here we have a user defined method already written at line number 7 which is called set to do set to do of new to do 
the meaning of this statement is set to do is a user defined method which is having some value that will be updated to the state variable okay that is a point of mark complete either yes or no or true or false and even we are planning to make it a concept of edit edit i i kill const edit title and that equals to index and title we will be giving a form first to point you have to even access all the items and to which item that you have planned to update your update so same const new to do's and that equals to from the group of items of to do's then from the group of items you are extracting particular item and with that property which is text right now text and that equals to write it title after updating the title just set to do's of new to do's very simple concept okay then where you can do this job of course mark complete and all these points these are the two properties okay you are displaying and you need to write that this is a property this is a property to to do that you need to write in the above here along with the to do okay getting my point like as how you have passed a parameter from one component to another component so now here inside this what are those properties mark complete and edit title and inside this okay you are referring that to do even you are writing a key with an index whereas mark complete equals to mark complete and even edit title equals to edit title then now if you observe from the group of items we are extracting one by one item and each item is having its value its key its two additional properties all these four properties are given to the to do which we have given below here below here and here writing that index mark complete edit title whereas now let us do one thing here i will be writing a simple code let's write a simple style style equals to something text decoration text decoration if it is um, okay let's do one thing to do dot is completed question mark saying that line hyphen to or else make it empty the meaning of this statement is this is a condition totally depends upon the condition either this or this you are assigning as a value to the text decoration style i mean property 
okay then that is one whereas let's even write an input element in the checkbox where sorry, type equals to opening closing curly braces of course you can also write a checkbox like this on change on change giving a call to mark giving a call to mark complete of particular index additionally name equals to completed or uh, that is a checkbox on change mark complete of that particular index and name completed whereas id equals to to do dot we have an id right so this is something a meaning but there are things to do okay let us even write and edit functionality how we can do it that or as adding in functionality if you just see here we are getting two points okay to do form is not there add to do is not there yes correct on it we did not completed the task in the to do form add to do functionality so let's write the functionality component of to do form and so where we can create make it to do form dot ds inside this to do form import react then use speak then write here const to do form and that equals to you are getting what is the property you are getting add to do right now add to do and it's a functionality inside this defaultly a value and set value which is given with the use state of empty that is defaultly defaultly empty now return statement inside this you can also write a class name opening closing curly braces even like this also you can write the class with the container and first let me write a due the class name we can also write our custom styling i am by typing app id and that too it's your wish that you can write or you can just skip it's not a mandatory i am just writing something heading and something text center let's add here another to do item that is heading now i am just opening a simple form on submit of this form on submit of this form and giving a call to the handle submit some of the sorry one of the user defined method Press inside this input with a class name, opening closing curly braces, write form hyphen control, and I am just writing column hyphen md hyphen h. Then here. Type equals to 
text. And then even placeholder equals to. That means you are treating everything something as a React value. Even the classes also. Whereas placeholder, okay. Add a new to do. And then the value attribute equals to the value what we have given, line number four. When user enter the characters on change event handler, whereas let me just write here handle change something else. And once user enter the detail and clicks on submit button. So input has been form hyphen control or as we can say btn anything whereas you can also write yes btn hyphen space btn hyphen primary and col hyphen md hyphen code apart with this you can also write something class name submit button whereas type equals to submit then value equals to add so with this we have given a concept where user is entering same like as how we have done from the beginning onwards there is an input element there is a circuit button once user is entering handle change the value that needs to be accepted and once user clicks on submit button that needs to be submitted okay even let's write the bottom export default to do form so now let's write the functionality what are the functionality that you need right two functionalities what are those handle change and handle submit right now so first simply write here const handle change that you know already how to write an event or e in fact this simply write set to value that event dot Target dot value. Okay. Then once user entered C with this statement, we have add, uh, updated the value with the method of set value. Now once user clicks on submit button, so const and is submit and that equals to the event as to not to mess up i mean to not to conflict we can just write event dot event event default. default then we are first checking that if not if there is no value Articles to do. If there is a value, we are giving a call to the method of add value with a value. Right? And once we have added, then set value, make it an empty. That's it. Okay. So you have given add to do. We have passed a value now inside the main definition which is connected to the method you need to write a definition if you just observe almost same only thing is i mean compared to class based i'm saying that almost same only thing is there we have used componented update componented mode whereas this dot props dot something else whereas here we are using to make it a updation or everything initialization use state of course for updation there is one more method which is called use effect that we will be even discussing later point 
in this case it's not required as it's not required we are just simply using a set value updating it is a method it's a state variable and that is just able to update from the default value okay so now we have to write the functionality of add to do right so let's write any way that you can write okay const add to do a simple with the set to do's user defined method right now which you have given here to do's and you have from the group of i mean into the group of items of to do we are extracting a text that value so hope it come and there is an error what is an error to form import to do form is not now we have added let's check it out okay we have a text input element button and there are of course already we have given three check boxes and that's one why it is getting uh, line through it is true is completed is true how it is checking that when we have given a group of items into the to do's mark complete when it is these three properties are passing to to do's that is here which item is completed right now here in the top is completed if it is true then apply this style to the text decoration as it is matching to the second record so it is applying that line through clear first point is it right clear yes. then the next is doing some actions okay these check boxes what these check boxes are doing so just click on it, any of this now it became when you click on this check box what happened type checkbox name completed of course and that particular here we did not given something functionality i mean uh of what i can say checkbox like as we have done here in this style the default we are loading okay if you want to make it checkbox when user is clicking sorry, clicks on this checkbox then you have planned to make a text decoration then how as soon as that you click on checkbox of course on change event handler also you need to write again here right now on change mark complete that you are entering into the mark complete where is that mark complete functionality this is a mark complete of the particular index from where into the here and it is setting to the new produce. It is saving the value that's it. Here I'm saying that. So 
here I am saying that it's a saving and it's checking and uh, unchecking. That's it. We did not give an again reverting back. Okay. I will save these three things. Now, what I want to do here is is completed. Here is completed set new to do's of that particular index. Let's write a simple code here console at log that particular just for our reference purpose. Okay, so let's refresh once. Then make it console. I am just selecting this one. And got reading is incomplete. Let's make it here. I'm just clicking on it. Any of this? Or do we have okay? There's something problem here. Cannot read properties of undefined is completed. So, so what is the problem here? Mm -hmm. Our concept is mark complete index. We are fetching from group of items into the new to do first. And among those group of items, we are picking up that particular indexing value. And that too, that is maybe a second record or third record, something else. Among this, that particular property is completed. First, is completed. So, we don't know what will be the value at this moment, so we are just taking again the same, but with the logical not symbol. And resetting that new to do's to the to do's again. Correct only everything is working. So let's do one thing. So just can we extract what is new to do's in the in the console so we'll come to know whether it is coming exactly. So let's do one thing before that itself is just planned first. Yeah. Of items. Okay. That is a part of extracting all the items. That's actually the statement. Let's check it. So when I click on it, the three items right now, extracting all the items. Yes. Okay. From that extracting of all the items. The index, okay. Whether we are getting that index or not, also let us leave and just check it out. So, yeah. So um, both so, can write uh, new to those uh, dot is completed with index. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Correct. Uh, correct. Yes, I thought the same thing. All the three items or ten items, whatever we are having, we are just extracting into the variable. Maybe whatever it is the variable that is later point, but we are just extracting a display. And we are even planning to find out this one index. index. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, index, we are this not, is not coming. Mm. We are not getting so undefined. the index is coming as undefined there. Uh, right. So here, while passing uh, here, while passing itself. There is a problem. On change, okay, mark complete of. Mm, let's do one thing. Here we'll just plan x value of something. To do dot i. To do ID. Let's just check it out. I mean, from the group of IDs, okay. 
that is pseudo dot id where extract id where passing let's then it should be flower brackets no sir flower ah uh, no no it's not a, it's a prop no, observe here it is a method we are passing a parameter okay oh, okay hmm. it is a value we are checking okay okay then this right so let's now click on any of this item now we are getting exactly yes, yes. Mm, that is index is not working so now we can just check it out here right here we are getting exactly so in the case to the second record that means you even have to write here what you have to write uh new to do's of two you need to find out that id so you need to find out means so what we have to do if condition no no let me tell you here first of all let us do a thing from the index okay index or id we are getting id right now so let's go with an id okay here id yes yes you as you said we yeah, have to check it out first if to do dot id is equivalent to the given id okay then here news to do okay and if it is done let us see one then this one else just for our understanding purpose uh set to do's okay or oh, it will be problematic oh. to everything yeah or else console dot uh, uh, a wrong id or nothing is there uh let's make it a simple console statement here console dot unable to do something else statement okay so we have got a clarity here on which element sorry on which input checkbox we are clicking one two three we are getting exactly but only thing is we have to plan to extract this is equal to the concept of this one but uh in that case you can write here new produce dot id because you are copying right now the data into this right new yeah. to do's dot id so let's check it out unable to do action that means it's unable to pick up that one so just can we check new to do's dot is completed whether it is printing or not just uh -huh. yes 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 in the, in the 17th line uh, sorry what do you say in the 17th line just uncomment it uh, 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 and we can make it dot uh, is completed we'll check whether it is complete it, it no not id uh, is completed okay let's yeah. see yeah. let me see see you're giving okay you are uh, three records you will be getting that to a particular property will be getting Okay, or, good idea. Yeah, or yeah, or else new to this uh, one for, for the for first row or something, first index square bracket. Right, 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 right. Here we have to understand one thing ID from the ID, you need to pick up that index. Actually, index is the correct one because IDs may be very right now. Okay, IDs may be as of now here one, two, three, but we will be having even yeah. anything. Okay, so understood. So uh let's do on the first uh what i want to do okay let us do it here let us just undefined so it is unable to extract that one new to do's it is unable to extract that one uh, 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 no sir new to do's is coming in okay uh. So, but the thing is, the properties inside the new to do mm. unable to fetch due to some uh, I mean, 
we need to modify in different way. why because in the previous case we have displayed new to do list it is coming mm. in Mm -hmm. The properties inside it is not coming yet. Okay. In this case, we can just try to make it a simple example. So let us do one thing. I have a simple question. Uh, I have a simple statement here. If, of course, it's just a uh, hard code concept only, but later we can think once uh, if ID is equal to one or two, or mm, yeah. if ID equals to make it something index index as zero but it's hard code we even can think in that case so but especially why index is not passing yes yeah. yes yeah, sir, sir just last try in the 17th line can you make it text to once uh, e, e, instead of is completed can you make it text uh, just to, yeah yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, uh, yes. yeah remove that we, we just want to know whether the text is coming or not or only uh, right right mm. If the index is coming, that will be easily completing our task. But if index is not passing, right? Well, that's why. Oh, sir, now I got it. In the in the in the seventeenth line, give uh, square brackets after new yeah. after new to do square bracket square uh, bracket one one you give. That is hard code. Right? <laughs> no, 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 sir, no, sir. I understood, but, but just one second. Like mm -hmm. after this, if this value is printing then we can make instead of zero we can make it id so that okay. the value okay, let's do one thing let's go with the id only directly okay. anyway we are getting some value right here uh -huh. we got a clarity we are getting some value here id yes. so so news to do's of id id that's one or something of uh -huh. one we, we, we um, that means the first row i mean the first uh, ninth line will be printed the ninth line text will be if printed I, uh, news to do of id let's do one thing let me just uh, okay only yes. this one only this one because it won't be accepted this one right now yes yes under the id it's not having whereas if we are getting yes i so it is the second value is we are getting second the value we are getting so id three id three yeah yeah correctly sir id three it will come i understood I click on this one and find. Whereas I click on this one. Yeah. I click on this one. Actually, so it is coming as an array. Ah, uh, array. So we should give. Uh, see, since we are having only one, two, three uh, array, array. You in the use state, you are given as an array. Yes. Yes. Correct. Only. Yes. Correct. Use state. We have given array of objects. So the so first nine one two. Uh, Ninth one is a zero element. Tenth one is a first element. Correct only. Two zero one two. Okay. So okay, okay, okay. That means it is not taking the last one. Mm. Last one is a kind of undefined. You think? Okay. Yeah. Why? Because it is coming as a three. Yes. 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 Okay. Overall, we got a, some basic idea here. Let me just do one thing here. So. What we are planning to do here. So let me just make it. Let me remove. No, sir, no, no, whatever you write is correct only, sir. In the 19th line, instead of dot, you give bracket. Uh, square bracket. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, dot. Uh, square brackets dot. Uh, e, uh, uh, yeah, is completed, is equal. I mean, now we can write is uh, yeah equal to this. Uh, 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 no, 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 it's not required. It's not required. Okay. Because, anyway, see, as we are already getting that ID, we can just remove this one directly. We can say this one. Right now? Same thing. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, the property we are opposite. We are making a wrong opposite Correct. value. Correct. That's enough. We don't need to write. We have written a condition whether it's working or not. But actually, we are getting. So, let's do one thing now. Let me just check it. Let no. me just check. Code no. is complete. Okay. Let's check it out. So, our concept here is if I click on the first item, see, it is, it is coming correct. Hmm. Actually, it's working only, but we have just why we have when I click on it. No, no, no. So, okay. can you re re reload the page again? Yeah. Okay. Defaultly. For the second item, 
it is having uh what do you say this one yeah okay. yeah let's do one thing while it is getting the true even i want to make it this as a checkbox true ha uh, that would be better yeah. that would be better better right now yeah so where is the true while we are getting this is completed this one so i want to say here a uh, checkbox come checkbox type whereas checkbox check equals to is um, is it okay true that side true dot it okay exactly this is what exactly it's when i uncheck this one <laughs> i check this yeah. so that is working but only thing is the way of the no. logic uh, no no yes. here coding is okay working but the indexing is something missing up i mean okay let's do one thing let's get a clear idea actually what is our concept we have three items whichever the item is checked that is just showing something different style that's okay accepted now is it okay Mm -hmm. yeah second item second item correct only checked that's why it's already completed so no point of doing anything when i uncheck this one it's giving preference to the second another one record that is uh it's happening 1 2 3 whereas 0 1 2 2 okay for example if i click on first one is giving preference to second one that is there is a some there are small mistake yeah. mistake is a uh, missing with missing with the index and id is concept so what we have to do here is so let's do a thing. any guess from any of you sneha as you are seeing right uh, so any guess from your end how we can resolve this one what is the problem here okay let us do one thing even let us check it out adding also first one whether it's working or not okay then my uh okay on to like i'm trying to add okay that's one adding okay it's selecting what i have selected this one <laughs> only small thing that is missing missing up what is that missing up is id and index is conflicting when i click on the first record this is index 0 but id 1 that is reflecting to the index 2 sorry index 1 id 2 right now so in that case what we can do here is let's do one thing sorry let's once just get it back id and even this one also which item that we are going to ex extract this one let us check it out um first one i am selecting actually index is 0 id 1 id 1 but internally it is taking id 2 it's moving to the next to one yeah. it should not be happen like this it's getting we got a clarity i clicked on id 1 that is display whereas this one id simply id but it is taking that new to do's of id there is second record it's take we have a simple solution as it is saying uh, it's a uh, giving a wrong value we can do it simply one point make it something like this we can make it meaning in that case what we can do understood and this is so so we are just manually we are mm. so what i will do here is i will just take let or const 
ID equals to ID minus one, and that is updated here, right now. Okay, of course, ID minus minus or ID minus one. Let us check it out now with. Two, we are using same ideas, no sir, matter we can give any other uh, in the 17th line, constant okay. ID, new ID or something. Uh, okay. hmm. Okay. New ID, here we go with the new ID. Here, new ID equals to ID minus one, okay. What is here, new ID, okay. and here, same new ID. New ID. Hope this works. It works. Yeah. Okay. Why it is taking that actually uh, the main problem might be here itself, I guess. Of course, that you state a group of items separated by comma. Sorry. Group of items, of course, in terms of an array object, correct only. But let us even work one more example. One, not one more example with the same. We'll just even work out with a group of items with the use state. That another example we will discuss. That's not a point, that's a problem. But here, overall, just to get an idea how we can do the concept of functional life cycle hook concept, that is one concept use state. Use state is used to initialize. The values to the state variable. Whereas if you want to get updated value, that you are just updating with the uh, you can say use a defined method, which is a state method, you can say. Okay. okay. And this is updating right now. This is reflecting the new records to the new rules. Okay. So clear? So, yeah, uh, sir. Just one more in the to do form. No, oh, you used check bigger uh, uh, in, in a to do to to do form. Okay. Uh, uh, no, no, no. To do here. 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 So here you written check. No, sir. Like mm, here checked. Uh, uh, it is like a property or just. Uh, it is an it's a HTML attribute right now. Check. Uh, okay. Okay. Check. It's mm -hmm. Okay. It's complete. Okay, sir. Now I. Okay. Right then. Clear? Even others, please. Uh, Suranjana, Monica, others, please. Okay. Yes, sir. It is. Uh, yeah. Only thing, actually, we have done a coding exactly, but uh, the confuse here is index and ID confuse. That we to resolve that problem, we just make it a simple hard code. As it is moving forward, we just make it a exact value minus symbol. That's exact value. That's it. But we are able to access that ID. We are able to access that and exactly updating and reflecting the things. Okay. So, okay. So now let's even discuss with the concept of yes. The another one styled components. Okay. Shall we move to the next point? What is the concept of styled components? Means very simple. I say here, you have do, you have do, you have form, you have input element. Instead of directly writing that elements and writing their class names or something else directly here, you are writing the CSS in JS. CSS in JS. How? What is it? How it works? Let's create. Let's close this one. So let me create a new concept. Find components.
Then and to work with the concept of styled components, you need to add the dependency which is npm space install space child child hyphen components let's just check it out npm js.com style component right to one second hold on please Right. So yes, it is. What is that? Style component. Style hyphen components. So let's add npm space install space style hyphen components. Then right here, import styled from styled components. And I am writing here in the very beginning, I'm creating something, maybe a courses or languages or people or products, anything, a group of items, group of items. And each item ID title, for example, road to JS press URL something JS dot Okay, so let it be three or four records. Learn A I R. ML something here Firebase A I M L. So we have group of records and Yes, let's write here const child components. Okay, and that equals to opening, closing parentheses, and even an arrow. So remove this one and when you go with the functional, you not require these things. And then child 
components. So let's write here. First, I just want to display the records. And I even want to make it a simple set functionality. That is, once user starts typing, it needs to filter and match the records and give the records, whatever it is matching. So here, OK. Right here, app. wrapper app wrapper is not a built in it is just a user defined inside this app wrapper write forces component where it can have the property forces and that can just able to access the group of records. If you run this program, of course, it will ask what is the meaning, what is the definition of app wrapper, what is the definition of courses component, all these points, right? So we have to write a definition for this. And while writing the definition, we will be even applying something styles inside that. That is why, that's what we can say writing a css inside the js okay how in the that to in the in the format of template string or template literal format templating format or literal format that how it works everything we'll see in tomorrow session okay so once it's a very simple concept only and once it is completed even we will be discussing conditional rendering concept and some additional concepts also in tomorrow points okay so and once we are done with that we will be uh maybe not exactly tomorrow or on friday we'll just think about the concept of redux that will be totally redux redux, redux concept redux with the um, functional life cycle hooks or class based life cycle hooks with the saga and then that next week totally will be discussed okay Okay. Clear us. Yes. Right. Okay. So, thank you so much to all of you, and then we'll meet in tomorrow's session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Anna. Bye. <clears throat>